Dear Mr. President, dear Mrs. President-elect, dear colleagues and friends, first of all, I want to express the gratitude of the class of social and related sciences to our outgoing president, Professor Seed Clerthing, for unfailing and sustained encouragement of the class and its activities. I also want to extend a deeply felt gratitude to the Bergen Knowledge Hub and the staff members, Christine Bakken and Nils Olaf Severos, who have rendered invaluable support for the preparation of the class meetings. In the last instance, humankind's capacity to grasp the problems of the contemporary world, including climate change and pandemics, is enabled and enhanced by the existence of a scholarly landscape that promotes curiosity-driven research, allows for unexpected encounters and welcomes unforeseen results. Academia Europea seeks to promote such a landscape and to articulate the idea of curiosity-driven research and its relevance to the modern world. The new global context cannot be made intelligible without the contributions also of the social sciences. Conversely, this context offers immense possibilities for advancement and conceptual innovation of the social sciences, but also for empirical probing on a vastly expanded scale. The social sciences do not merely describe, retell and count what is already familiar. They also provide conceptual tools that are genuinely new. They give expression to thoughts that once expressed can no longer be unsought. This may sound trivial. However, a moment of reflection makes it clear that hardly single public policy is formulated that does not draw on some of the findings of the social and human sciences. Hardly a statement in the public sphere, nor indeed the very concept of such a sphere, <coughs> is possible without those contributions. This transformative force of the social sciences is of relevance for an assessment of their position and potential contributions also when they transcend boundaries of disciplines policy areas and nations. The class of social and related sciences embraces the vision of our academy as a vibrant and engaged scholarly community. It is a class characterized by intellectual curiosity, a sense of purpose, and a remarkably cooperative spirit within both its sections and with other classes. This has been continuously manifested this year let me mention a few examples. The class has successfully undertaken a revision of its structure of sections so as to increase their attractiveness as well as their capacity to realize the potentials inherent in the social sciences. The class has successfully and in a remarkably ambitious and collaborative spirit managed the process of selecting a recipient of the highest scholarly award of our academy, namely the Erasmus Medal. The class has increased its efforts to recruit highly talented new members across borders of nation, age, and gender. It has succeeded in electing more new members than ever before. The class has participated in and been one of the origins of new scholarly initiatives. One such example is that of the new Climate and Environment Task Force, but others are also in preparation. Finally, the class of social sciences has decided to continue to seek to organize a joint session together with class A1 at the Academy's annual conference with the winner of the Balsam Prize. On both occasions, the speakers, named Professor Dame Marilyn Strathern and this year, Professor Quentin Skinner, have been long-standing members of the class of social sciences. Professor Skinner is a world-leading intellectual historian and political philosopher. His oeuvre has fundamentally reshaped the way we think of the history of political and social thought and the ways in which we study such ideas. The title of Professor Skinner's keynote lecture was A Bridge Between Art and Philosophy, The Case of Thomas Hobbes. Some 110 members of the Academy had registered and more than 80 attended the lecture. It was followed 
by a very lively session of questions and answers. It is indicative to notice that the overwhelming majority of participants stayed throughout the entire session, but also that Professor Skinner himself insisted on answering every single question that had been posed. All in all, it was a highly exciting intellectual event at the highest scholarly level. It was followed by a session where each member elected into the class in 2020 was given the opportunity to present her or his research and profile. Some 40 members had registered and in the end, 37 members attended it. The class of social and related sciences has been off to a very good start of the academic year. It is a year that holds promise to become extraordinarily lively in intellectual terms. The class is prepared to render its full potential to realize that that will indeed be the case. Thank you so much.